The faction transfer just got added to the game and thousands of players are taking the leap. But they're all making a huge mistake. They're losing out on massive profit potential. Luckily, I've compiled the ultimate faction transfer gold making guide so you can make tens of thousands of gold when you transfer. And stick around for my can't miss faction transfer checklist later in the video. Before you faction transfer, you need to know that there's a 25k gold cap per character. Due to this cap, we need to be storing our gold in primarily expensive and stackable items. But that's actually a great thing since there are profit making differences between item prices on each faction. You'll want to first determine the price difference for items between factions. I recommend making a level 1 and checking the opposing Hooray! auction house. Alternatively, Nexus Hub allows you to quickly compare prices per faction. If you play the system correctly, you can make over 10,000 gold from one faction transfer. So let's talk about what items to actually transfer for big profit. The expensive items you want to be moving to the opposite faction are crafting materials like Rune Orbs, Scarlet Rubies, and Frozen Orbs. Enchanting materials are also great like Abyss Crystals, Vellums, as well as Crafted Leg Buffs. And don't forget those epic fishing gems from the daily either. I also plan to transfer with a few Dark Moon card greatness decks on hand since prices on servers like Grobulus vary by over 500 gold. Wait, it's important to understand the population differences between the two factions you're switching between. That's because population actually determines the raw material prices. For example, Aranicus herbs and potions are higher in Alliance than Horde. There are just less herbalists picking the herbs, less fishers fishing, and less miners mining. But speaking of herbs and mining, stacks of herbs and ore are great cross-faction flips. You can also transfer full stacks of flasks, potions, even northern spices. Right now, Flasks of the Frost Room are almost 3 gold higher in Aranicus Alliance than Horde. Just remember to clean your bags out first to maximize room for profits. And clean off the like button, the subscription button, and the notification bell. With your mouse. Vendor Pets. Pets are nearly guaranteed profit when you faction change, so stock up. There's moss in the Exodar, cats from Elwyn Forest, snakes from Orgrimmar, and dragonhawks from Silvermoon City. A full list of pets to flip cross-faction are available in my faction transfer checklist below the video. Don't forget the Argent tournament pets too. Since you can't buy the opposite faction pets from tournament vendors, pets like the Marlboro Hatchling and Elwyn Lamb can be flipped for big profit. Watch my Optimal Champion Seals farming video to learn how to get these pets fast. Or just search the auction house for every pet and snag up anything below market price. A 500 gold is usually a good value. Recipes Transferring recipes is profitable as well since some recipes can only be obtained from Alliance or Horde vendors. For example, the Beer Basted Four Ribs recipe is 18 gold on Grobulus Horde and only 2 gold on Grobulus Alliance. Meanwhile, the Scorpion Surprise recipe is 9 times more expensive on Alliance than Horde. The Future If you plan to faction transfer later on when race changes get added, you should plan your strategy right now. Saving up a huge stack of gold for Crusader Orbs to transfer them to a less populated faction is printing money. And also in TOC, the new Epic Gems will replace Scarlet Rubies as one of the best cross-faction flips. A stocking up on Emblems of Heroism and Titanium Ore is a great idea. And if you want a really big ticket item to flip, Battered Hilt prices will vary by thousands per server when they're added in the endgame. And while this isn't a big factor yet, many players will be transferring to Alliance for PvP and Horde for PvE. On an evenly balanced server in a few months, transferring items like Mystic Autumn Glows to Alliance or Potions of Speed to Horde will result in higher profit. But in order to benefit from faction transfers, you'll need a lot of gold. Watch my 10 overpowered gold farming spots video next to make bank.